John Longcroft Neil here again and welcome. Margaret and I have been on a holiday to Jersey for a week and we've had a great time. We've got some great footage to show you. A bit of a sting in the tail too. That'll come later. Let me tell you a few things about Jersey. We've been there four times. We like it so much. We've been to Guernsey once. I've been to Guernsey a lot of times. Went there as a teenager. Um, anything about Jersey that I come across, if it's inaccurate, my apologies straight away, because uh, please correct me. Um, it's a very fascinating place. It's its own character, as does Guernsey. And um, the aspects of it, which are absolutely beautiful, um, it has its own political and financial system. So it's not part of the UK as such. Is that right? Or do I mean, it's certainly not part of England. If you say they're English, mm -hmm, that's the wrong thing to say. Um, they have originally their own language as well. Um, most of the island is very French feeling. All the road names are in French, although you do drive on the left. Uh, so it's a wonderful place. It's about nine miles across and five miles up and down. And it's stuck right down here um, near France. So close to France, you'd think it was theirs. But it's not. It's sort of ours. The flight time from Birmingham Airport was just over an hour. And before you know where you are, there you are in Jersey. We pushed the boat out a bit and stayed at this lovely Atlantic Hotel on the west coast of the island. And it overlooked this fantastic St. Juan's Bay, which is about four miles long. These beautiful blue agapanthus were absolutely everywhere all over the island. On the first day, we met up with some old friends of ours, Mick, who's a Jersey man, and Marlene, who's originally from Guernsey and now lives on Jersey. And now they're both retired, they live in this beautiful accommodation. I always get excited when I see the sea, that beautiful green turquoise colour. Then we moved on to visit Lahu B, which is a Neolithic ritual site, which was in use about 3000 BC, and one is the one of the largest and best preserved passage graves in Western Europe. And this shows one of the buildings reconstructed in the style of the time. And then in the 12th and 16th century, two chapels were built on the top of this historic site. During the Second World War, the German war economy depended on the forced labour of millions of men, women and children. And the Channel Islands were invaded and occupied by the Nazis during this time. Life was terribly tough for the islanders, but for the prisoners of war who came here, mostly from Eastern Europe, it was virtually a death penalty. And so this underground bunker at Hugh B is dedicated to those poor souls. Moving on to more pleasant things, Marlene and Mick very kindly cooked for us that evening and part of the meal was, as you can see, it's obvious, it's cabbage loaf. What? 
each slice comes with a piece of cabbage attached and it was very tasty. Then we returned to see the local paragliders drifting effortlessly along the updraft by the cliffs next to our hotel. Absolutely wonderful, look at that. And I swear this fella could have leaned over and just picked flowers. He was so close to the ground. I'm fairly sure he must have been showing off, but this landing is just absolutely epic. We had our evening meals at the hotel for a couple of occasions, but we went out also to this place called the Oyster Box, which is right on the seafront in St. Brillard's Bay, going past the ever-present, this time slightly purple, Agapanthus. Now, there's something to say about the rocks right on the far corner there, so if you're interested in dinosaurs and history, listen out. In part two, all will be revealed. Jersey is quite an expensive island to live on and there are a number of people who are very well off. However, if you have a car like this, which I guess would probably get very close to 200 miles an hour, um, the only trouble is the top speed you can go on Jersey is 40 miles an hour. So I bet this car hardly gets out of second gear. Strange, really. <laughs> 